Solar has come a long way in the last 15 years. Panels cost less, batteries are smarter, warranties are longer, and overall system efficiencies are higher than they've ever been. In spite of these innovations, many people still believe that solar is no better today than it was 15 years ago. There are several key misconceptions or myths when it comes to solar that we hear from our customers, friends, family, or even your Uncle Bill. So in this video, we're gonna bust the top myths we hear about solar and show why it's a smart option for many Kiwi households. The first myth we hear is, solar panels aren't efficient enough and won't last. To which we can safely say, this is not true. Modern panels are rated between 18 and 25% efficient. This might sound low at first, but it's actually a measure of how much sunlight the panel turns into electricity. To calculate this, manufacturers set their panels up in a test environment and expose them to 1000 watts per square meter of light. The electricity generated then forms the efficiency percentage. If 1000 watts go in and 230 watts come out, the panel is rated at 23% efficient. Seeing as your average panel is actually 2 meters squared, 2000 watts would go in and about 460 watts would come out. 15 years ago, the average solar panel was around 15% efficient, producing a peak of around 250 watts. Today, panels commonly exceed 20% efficiency and can easily deliver 450 watts, if not more. This jump in performance means fewer panels are needed for the same energy output, which lowers your installation costs. There are other panel technologies that can reach efficiencies of above 40%, but because of their material challenges and high costs, they're not yet ready for wider residential use. As for warranties, high quality solar panels come with a 30 year product and performance guarantee. This means your panels will still produce 85 to 90% of their original output after three decades in service. Our customer data has also backed this up with consistent performance year on year with no noticeable drops in output. And if you are still concerned about panel degradation, adding an extra panel or two during install can help offset this. The next myth we need to debunk is, solar doesn't work on cloudy days. And that's not entirely true. Don't get it wrong, solar definitely needs sunlight to work, but it doesn't need blazing heat or clear blue skies. What matters is a radiance, the intensity of light that's hitting the panels. On clear, long summer days, you'll get peak output, but even on cloudy winter days, with shorter sunlight hours, your panels can still produce around 30% of their summer output. Here in New Zealand, we're lucky, as the mainland has excellent irradiance levels, so we are working with really good conditions. The key is to look at solar as a year-round system. A few cloudy weeks in winter, doesn't cancel out the benefits you get on the long summer days. The best way around these variances is, is to have a battery as part of your system. Batteries let you store excess energy generated on sunny days to use in the evenings, or even top up with cheap off-peak power from a grid in winter. That way, whether it's sunny, cloudy, or somewhere in between, you've always got energy working for you. Another big myth is, solar is too expensive and better to wait until prices drop. Again, that may have been true 10 or 15 years ago when the technology was beginning to rapidly improve and come down in cost, but not anymore. Panel prices have become really dialed in with only incremental drops in prices for the foreseeable future, if at all. If you were to wait for a 10% price drop on a 20 panel setup, you could save $1,800. But here's the kicker, most systems save that much in the first year. It's like LED downlights for your home. You don't wait for them to get cheaper, the price is already low. You typically just install them and start saving straight away. From real customer data, we can see that solar only systems pay back in about five years and with battery a few years after that. We often see returns of 15 to 20% per year, which in many cases is better than shares or term deposits. So waiting doesn't save you money, it actually costs you more. The next phrase we hear a lot from our customers is, installing solar will damage my roof. And that's a fair concern, but when it's done by experienced professionals, such as ourselves, the answer is no. Panels can be safely installed on every roof type you'll find in New Zealand. 
from corrugate, decromastic, tiles, concrete, and even membrane roofing. Any screws removed are replaced with sealed, heavier duty ones, and the only penetration for wiring is a small 25 millimeter hole that's fully waterproofed. Getting solar can actually be a good time to evaluate any existing damage to your roof, such as loose tiles or old pointing. A good installer will recommend fixing those before proceeding, with the end result leaving the roof in better shape than before. The difference comes down to who you choose to do the work. With in-house installers who follow set procedures, you can be confident your roof will be looked after and your installation won't be rushed. Our fifth and final myth is, solar without a battery will keep my home running in a power outage. This one's a bit tricky because the answer is both yes and no. A standard solar system without a battery will not keep running in a blackout. That's because your inverter is designed to shut down in an outage. It's a safety feature to stop electricity feeding back into the lines and putting the repair crews at risk. Some systems do offer a small emergency outlet, enough to run something like a fridge, but it's not a whole home backup. To truly keep your lights on, you need a battery. Here's how it works. The battery creates what's called a mini grid. It tells the inverter, hey, the grid is still here at 230 volts, so your solar keeps generating. That way, during an outage, the battery can seamlessly power your essentials or even your entire home, depending on your setup. For homes in areas prone to outages, batteries can be a game changer. Not just for saving money, but for keeping the lights on when you need it most. And there you have it, the top myths we hear about solar every week, busted. As you can see, solar in 2025 is a completely different story to what it might have been 10 or 15 years ago. Panels are cheaper, batteries are smarter, systems last longer, and the paybacks are better than ever. But these aren't the only myths out there, we've still got plenty more to cover. So if you found this video helpful, or you wanna see more solar myths busted, then feel free to drop us a comment below. Because the more you know about solar, the easier it is for you to see how it's such a smart choice for Kiwi households today.